My friends, this is the typical size of a compact mini ITX case. You can fit a full length graphics card in here. You can have up to a 3950X or a 10900K, whatever have you. This thing can pack a lot into it. But today we're not talking about the NZXT H1. No, we're talking about something much smaller. The Inwin B1 is gonna be the focus of today. This, my friends, is the ultimate Ryzen APU case. In case that you're just looking to build a mini ITX PC that doesn't need a graphics card, I think you should probably take a look at this. So let's go ahead and talk about this bad boy because as you can see, it is incredibly tiny as things fall off because I didn't properly screw them in before starting this video. Coming in at about three liters of size, this thing is a tiny powerhouse for anything that doesn't need a graphics card. This thing starts at $85 over on Amazon, but it's not just the case that you get included with it. No, you also get a 200 watt, 80 plus gold power supply included in this thing. So you can see that it either stands vertically with a stand that's included with the case or it stands horizontally like this with feet that are attached on this. However, as you can see, the vertical stand is removable, but so are the feet in case you wanted to just have the back plate on this guy. You can see the feet have screws on this plate right here, which comes off fairly easily. It just takes two screws and then you remove the feet and you can get rid of those eyesores when you have it standing vertically. So this thing can be oriented whichever way you want and it can fit basically any mini ITX motherboard without a graphics card in here. And it does that pretty well. Let's go ahead and pop you up. But it's not just the power supply that's included in this thing. As you can see right up here at the top, there is an 80 millimeter fan that is also included for exhaust. So you have the power supply down here, you have the motherboard here in the middle, and then the 80 millimeter fan right up top. This thing can fit basically everything. It can fit high rise RAM, which you can see right here, I'm using the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. The only caveat that I found out was the fact that it cannot fit normal AMD Wraith coolers. This is because I actually ended up losing my stealth that I had with my APU. I was just trying to fit a regular Wraith cooler in here. And unfortunately, there's just not enough clearance. It's like a couple millimeters too small, which in when like just a little bit extra thickness, a little bit more plastic would have made it so that I wouldn't have had to compromise on that. But a Wraith Stealth or one of these ones which came included with my Athlon 3000G or a number of low form factor coolers is possible. The max height that they recommend is 60 millimeters. So that's pretty cool and it keeps the entire PC fairly well ventilated. Again, you're just using an APU. I'm planning on upgrading mine to the upcoming Renoir APUs. The 4700G is actually gonna go in this bad boy. I have an Asus ROG Strix B450 in here. And the cable management, there's plenty of room along here on the side to keep a very clean look. As you can see, the eight pin power is included, the 24 pin power is included, and then the fan is also up and ready to go. However, it, you also have options for drive installation here on the back, as you can see right here, there are options for two, two and a half inch drives right here and here in case that's what you need. But also Inwin thankfully thought out the fact to cut out this back port because it allows you to access the spare M.2 drive that's found on a lot of mini ITX motherboards. So Inwin actually doing pretty good stuff. You could have up to four drives in here with the two, two and a half inch drives and then with the two M.2 drives, depending on your motherboard again. And one of the ingenious ways that they did this, you can see here on the back for those two and a half inch drives, there are just the SATA connections for SATA power and for the SATA cable going into the motherboard. Those are pre-routed in the case so that you can connect them directly to the motherboard and directly to the power supply. And it's all good to go at the very beginning. This case actually is pretty ingenious for its size. If we're just gonna talk about front IO for a second as well, you can see that it has a single USB 3 as well as a single headphone jack. It has a power on light as well as a power button. The entire thing's easy to disassemble. It's easy to set up. It's easy to put in whatever orientation you want. It's kinda like a toy. It's a very toy-esque 
PC. Uh, there have been comparisons to Sentries. This kind of looks like a Wi-Fi router uh, in, in some regards. It absolutely meets all of the requirements that I would have want for a mini ITX APU build. This thing comes in at about three liters. It is absolutely small enough to tuck away in whatever home theater system you want it in. This would not necessarily stand out as a PC. This is really great as a home theater option for APU builds. I can't necessarily say too many wrong things about it. The tempered glass allows you to actually see the inside. Maybe it would have been better with a mesh top, but again, we're talking about up to 65 watt TDP on a Ryzen APU. I'm not even gonna talk about Intel with their 105 watt APUs on like the 10900. That's neither here nor there. Power supply included, really versatile case that can fit in a variety of situations, only $85. You can check it out at the link in the video description. We have an affiliate link to Amazon over there. We get a small kickback if you happen to pick one out, but we bought this ourselves because I was looking to, for a mini ITX APU build, and this seemed to hit all of the marks that's launched. I think it was back in March or April, and Inwin actually has a real winner here as far as I'm concerned. It cools everything I need it to. It can fit most RAM. It it was just a little taller in order to fit the regular AMD Wraith cooler, that would be phenomenal. But you do get the tempered glass to see whatever RGB RAM you put in there or whatever RGB low profile cooler you can get. Do those exist? I haven't Googled that at all. I should probably find out. Anyways, let me know what you think of the Inwin B1 down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, you can buy this on Amazon. Big thanks to all of our patrons who have supported us on Floatplane as well as Patreon and made everything possible, made it so that we could actually afford to buy this case. Much appreciated, friends. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. Subscribe thing. Bye. Subscribe thing? I don't exist right now, Reese. Shh.